Hi, I'm Tom from Cochrane Car Estate Agents. If this is the first video you've seen from us, what we're doing here is just giving you good information, good data, so you can see what's happening in the housing market in Sheffield. This is focusing on postcodes S10 and S11. As a company, we do cover the whole of Sheffield. So if you want to get in contact with me about your area, your property, my contact details are at the end. So let's get into the data. The first thing we're going to have a look at is new listings. New listings is a barometer for sellers' confidence in the market. Um, and the good news is that new listings are up 8% compared to the same period last year. Um, it's roughly tracking around the six-year average, just ever so slightly down. I think it's around 2% lower. Um, but overall, it's new listings are average for that six-year uh, average as well. Compared to quarter two, though, new listings were actually down 10%. This is Probably to be expected, just with a bit of seasonality. Um, typically in the school holidays, there's less uh, less valuations we're booking in, more less fewer properties coming to the market with people going away or just looking after the children that people are busier. Um, so it's nothing too shocking when it's looking at that figure. Now let's have a look at properties for sale. Uh, this is essentially how much choice have buyers got when they're looking for a property. Um, and differences in this are huge. There's actually 25% more properties on the market in quarter three for this year compared to the same time as last year. So buyers have just got a ridiculous amount of choice. Therefore, you just make sure that your property is standing out and looking like good value to buyers. There is just an insane amount of choice out there. Compared to the six-year average, it's actually 26% higher. Um, so while new listings was around that average, the amount of property that's on the market is drastically different. Next, we're going to look at sales agreed. So this is looking at buyer confidence. We've already looked at seller confidence. Now we're looking at buyer confidence. Um, and it's it's good news. There's 21% increase in sales agreed in this quarter compared to 2023. So there is just more confidence for buyers. This is um, obviously a lot in the news about interest rates, uh, mortgage rates slowly coming down over uh, this year. Uh, the inflation numbers recently released were positive. So we're probably hoping that the Bank of England might do one or two base rate changes before the end of this year. So just continued confidence um, for buyers out there. It's roughly tracking around the six year average is literally three properties different. So we are, when it comes to seller confidence and buyer confidence, we're in a good market. We're in an average housing market, which is good. So the next thing we're gonna look at is price changes, fall throughs, withdrawals. Uh, fall throughs and withdrawals are pretty much around that six year average. So there's not much to talk about there, but you will see that the, uh, the uh, price changes is dramatic, dramatically different compared to uh, even um, last year. And then that six-year average, um, it's actually 48% increase in price changes compared to that six-year average. So we're looking at earlier, there was more choice for buyers than ever before. Um, and essentially, this is now the price changes is estate agents sticking properties on at the wrong price. Uh, it can be a tactic uh, for a lot of agents out there that they will come and tell you a high price to get your property on the market with them. They'll tie you into a long contract and then they will struggle to sell it. Um, as a company, we have to do the odd price change here and there, but it's just nowhere near the levels of our competitors. So there is a lot of property on the market, all at the wrong price, and that's why there's that ridiculous amount of price changes. So the next set of information we're going to look at is just some statistics from Rightmove, Zoopla, and 20EA. Um, Rightmove are telling us average time to find a buyer is 60 days, similar to the same period last year. Um, but this is kind of the, the theme in Sheffield of a lot of property being on the market is coming across the country um, because according to Zoopla, 22% of properties have been on the market for, for more than six months now. 18% of properties have now reduced their asking price by at least 5%. The reason why 5% is in there, that that's kind of seen as the minimum that you should reduce your price by But if you do have to do a reduction. The reason for if you're on at 400, there's no point reducing down to 390 if people actually thought your property was worth 390, they would have offered it you by now. So if you are going to do a reduction, you need to do it properly. There's plenty of properties to see out there that are reducing by not enough. It's not, if you're going to reduce, you've got to do it by an amount that would have the desired impact. Um, and then the knock on effect on this is with properties sticking on the market. 20 EA kind of tell us that um, if you find a buyer in less than 25 days, your fall through rate is only 6%. Whereas if it takes you over 100 days to find a buyer, um, then your fall through rate jumps up to 44%. So 
sometimes you meet people and they'll kind of say, I'm not in a rush to sell. Um, we'll wait for the right buyer at the right price. Um, the problem with this is that if uh, you property sat in the market for longer, it then affects your fall through rates. And the main thing that people want to do, if you're going on the market when you find a buyer, you just you want to make sure that that sale goes all the way through to completion. Uh, the golden period to find a buyer, we kind of think, is between two and four weeks. Um, that's where the, I think you get the most money. Um, and then also your fall through rate is, is a lot lower. The reason why I think it's this is that if your buyer, suddenly there's a period through the sale where they need to have a bit of uh, patience and maybe wait for you to find somewhere or say something comes up in the survey uh, that they weren't expecting. Now, if they think, hang on, this property was on the market for 100 days, there was no buyers, it was reduced a couple of times, uh, they will walk away, especially with interest rates where they are. Yes, they're coming down, but for, for a generation, no, they've not seen interest rates at these levels. So buyers, whilst they are out and they want to buy, they're a little bit nervous. Um, whereas if you sell within, say, two to four weeks and there's been competition, there's been multiple offers, then your buyers at that same process will think, hang on, we were quite, in effect, lucky to get this property. Um, so it must be a good buy. Let's crack on. Let's let's stay with that purchase. Stats for Cochrane Car. This is, this is where I just see if you just do things properly, this is what can happen. Um, the data has been taken from the 1st of January this year all the way through to the end of September. So it's a good data size. Um, our exchange ratio, so this is the number of properties, if 100 properties came on the market with us, we're selling 97 um, out of those 100 all the way through to exchange of contracts. So that's legally binding. And that's just absolutely ridiculous. Even the average agent is not getting anywhere near us on that. Um, we do, as I said earlier, we do have to change prices every now and then. Sometimes even we do get it wrong. Um, but our, our figures, again, way less than the average agent. And then days to find a buyer earlier, right? We were saying that the average time is around 60 days. We're nearly half that. So that is if you just do things properly, we can dramatically bring that down and get you in that golden period for finding the most money. Um, the knock on effect of uh, the way we market properties, professional photography, video, floor plans, uh, the fantastic staff that we have and how they negotiate on offers means that we're now selling at just over 100% of the asking price as well. So that's all the information that i've got for you this time uh here's my contact details if you did want to get in contact please reach out and uh, it'd be great to speak to you thank you